After a weekend of diplomatic triumph, Tehran is sending mixed signals regarding human rights. Iran's judiciary said on Sunday that it had upheld a death sentence handed out to a Swedish-Iranian dissident. The judiciary's Mizan news agency said the sentence for Habib Shab was given over the dual national's leadership role in an Arab separatist group accused of carrying out a series of attacks, including one in 2018 on a military parade in the southwestern region of Khuzestan, in which 25 people were killed and almost 250 wounded. Shab was found guilty on charges of terrorism following his confession, which rights groups say was forced, especially since he was deprived access to a lawyer. According to the Ministry of Intelligence investigation, the accused's confessions, the investigations carried out and the available evidence, he is accused of spreading corruption on earth. Sweden condemned the issuing of the death penalty, which Stockholm believes is retribution for a Swedish court's life sentence handed down to a former Iranian official for his involvement in the mass executions of political prisoners in the late 1980s. Shab is the third dual national to have been sentenced to death or executed over security-related charges since the start of the year. Iran executes more people yearly than any other country in the world, except for China. Back in January, the judiciary executed Ali Reza Akbari, a former Iranian official with British citizenship who had been convicted of espionage. Before his death, Mr. Akbari described what was done to him and how torture had been used. Let there be no doubt he fell victim to the political vendettas of a vicious regime. Meanwhile, Iran's foreign minister announced on Sunday that Tehran and Washington had reached a long-awaited agreement for a prisoner swap. On the issue of exchanging prisoners, we've reached an agreement over recent days. If everything goes well at the American end, I believe we will witness a prisoner exchange soon. But the U.S. State Department denied the Iranian statement, calling it, quote, another especially cruel lie that only adds to the suffering of their families.